Hey everyone, it's SciKidUS here. I can't exactly ignore the fact that my subscriber count has tripled in the past few days, thanks to DPR Jones and his sub-mucking. I'd like to throw a bunch of thank you balloons to him, as well as my new subscriber base. Most of you probably have no idea what this channel is about. That's okay, neither do I. I have no real plans for a direction for this channel. I'm just going to make videos about things which interest me. If you don't like it, then I'm sorry if I'm not your cup of tea. I've decided to start making a series of videos about digital logic design, intended for a general, non-technical audience. I find digital logic design, or DLD for short, a fascinating field which doesn't get much attention outside the realm of electrical engineering. The fundamental unit in digital logic is the binary digit, or the bit. Bits can either be a 1, which represents on, or a 0, which represents off. In digital logic, on and off correspond to power, usually 5 or 12 volts, and ground, which is the point of reference for the voltage. Logic gates can take these on and off states as inputs and return output values based on their inputs. The three most basic forms of logic gates are the NOT gate, the AND gate, and the OR gate. These gates work in digital logic the same way they work in English sentences. The NOT gate inverts the value of the input. Enter a 1 and you'll get a 0, and enter a 0 and you'll get a 1. The AND gate takes two inputs, and only outputs a 1 if both inputs are 1s as well. Finally, the OR gate also takes two inputs, but always outputs a 1 unless both inputs are 0. Out of NOT, AND, and OR, we can construct more logic gates. The XOR gate, which stands for exclusive OR gate, only outputs a 1 when either one input or the other is a 1, but not both. The remaining gates are simply AND, OR, or XOR gates, each combined with a NOT gate, creating NAND, NOR, and XNOR gates, respectively. Okay, confession time. These past 2 minutes and 20 seconds of footage have been incredibly difficult to produce. Um, I was going to actually have another section on top of this, but inside this video, but I just can't bring myself to do it at this point, so I just want to finish this video and get it done with. Um, I hope you're all okay with that. If you enjoy this kind of um, video, please let me know in the comments. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about digital logic design outside of these videos, I recommend you go and download a piece of software called Logisim which um, allowed me to make take all the screenshots above of various logic gates, and you can play around with it. It's a lot of fun. Um, hopefully my next video will be up, which will be about um, my Galileo scope unboxing, and that should be fun. Uh, until then, I'm wishing, I'm PsychidUS, wishing everyone well, um, and see you next time.